Hey guys, uh, I just want to make a quick video of all the stuff that I have laying around in the house currently. I wanted to show you what I have and get your feedback, comments as to what videos I should make first. If there's a particular video you want to see first, please leave it in the comments below and I'll make sure whichever comment gets the most thumbs up, that's the next video that I'm going to be making. Anyways, here's some stuff that I have. Um, this right here is the HID relay kit from TRS. Um, these are some of the stuff that I used to clean my vehicle. This is the applicator pad uh, from McGuire's and this that I use. Tire shine applicator so it doesn't get all over your hands. And here's another detailing video that I'll be making. It's the Chemical Guys leather cleaner. I know that the cord seats are not all real leather, that it's vinyl covered Stuff, but this works really well on cleaning any soils or dirt or grease or oil or whatever from the seats before and after videos with this. I want to show you guys the setup for the GoPro that I have. Um, I'm using it currently as a temporary uh, This right here is a cam. computer CCFL tube. I believe it's 12 inches, 2 of them. Here's the converter. I currently use this for my trunk light. So if you want to see a video of this one, I'll make it so that's plug and play kind of type. Okay, this Putco one is the red incandescent bulb. Right now I have the EX LED turn signals. I want to do a comparison video with just a regular incandescent red bulbs and see what the light output difference is. So uh, this right here is just one. a touch of paint for the Honda. If you go to the dealership and if you have rock chips or things like that, you can always go and purchase a color matching pen for your vehicle's color and I'll show you how to apply that and then um, sand it out and compound and all that stuff so that you can't really tell that you and it up. this right here is for the A pillar for the airbag that's on the A pillar they said um, when you're changing it out you need to um, change these two out what Honda says anyways so I was going to use this for when I'm doing the hard wiring for the radar detector or the dash cam. I have another thing that yeah, I was going to use which is this. It goes on the near arm. So I was going to route the wires behind this one and then plug this in to the wire. I mean the, um, the rear view mirror housing and so that you can't see the wire and at this all. right here is a part that I was going to use when I'm making the video for the door courtesy lights, the 9 channel cord, uh, if you don't have a V6 it doesn't come with the light on the door and this part you can use to um, add it. You don't have to use this one but I bought one to show you that you know what it is. So I'll be making a video on how to add the lights to the door soon also. This right here is, I believe it or not, Honda actually sells black electrical tape. And so when I'm making, for instance, Using the resistor right here, this is the 50 ohm, 3, uh, 3 ohm, 50 ohm, 3 ohm resistor. So if I'm making a plug and play turn signal harness for the cord, I'm going to be using the OEM, you know, sockets along with uh, terminal connectors and everything. I wanted to use uh, OEM tape. And so it really literally is OEM plug and play harness I'm going to be making. And this is just a relay. I believe it's a 5 pin relay. Um, I was going to use this to um, wire up the fogs to, or any other auxiliary lights or things like that. That's why I have this. This right here is a plastic gutter guard. Um, I'm going to be using this to protect the AC condenser on both the Honda Accord and Honda Fit. Um, the grill where the rock can go in and make a hole or damage the AC condenser and then you don't get, you know, no more cold air. And so this right here will prevent that from happening. And so that's why I have this one. This one, I believe many of you guys know what it is. Air Spencer, squash scent, high school kind of thing. These I'll are a couple this. EX LED, LED control modules. Um, this right here is a spring for your trunk so that it opens all the way instead of a little bit. I had a video where I removed the damper, but instead I'm going to put this back here is this uh, replacement rubber insert blades for the windshield wipers. So I'll be making a video on how to replace those with these. 
And also, I have the Bosch Icon ones as well. So I'll show you how to replace if you want to change it with something aftermarket, something like this. This right here is, uh, this is the HFP decal emblem for the side skirts. Here's the part number. Honda doesn't sell this anymore. And, oh, you've probably seen one of the videos where I replaced all the clips that the dealership damaged when I took it in for some warranty work. So, here's a full bag of it. Don't buy these from the dealership. Buy them online on eBay or Amazon. It's so much cheaper. I think I got like 25 of them for less than 5 bucks. Um, yeah, oh, and this is a tool that I use with a adapter. Hold on with this adapter so that I can attach a 10 millimeter socket to remove the bolts and nuts really quickly. This has a lot of torque and it makes working on your vehicle a lot easier. So I suggest it if you're looking for one of these, tight space, you know, 90 angle. And another tool is something like this that rotates all the way around. Oh, this one right here is a Honda tool that you can buy purchase from the dealership. It's used to pull this kind of clip. You know, you hold it and you pull kind of deal. Oh, and this tool is a ratcheting screwdriver. It's nice to have. It um, flexes 90 degrees, so for hard to reach places. I use these to uh, get to the bolt on the rear chrome trim piece. These are XB35 HID kit, that's the HID ballast, and this is the amp connectors in here. JB Weld, no, this is just a USB charger, external charger, battery charger. I was going to use that to hook up my GoPro so that I can record it for a long period of time when I'm outside and this right here is from my high school days I found this in one of my toolbox it is a wolf whistle what that basically is is or you can call it a booty call whistle or something like that so when I have it hooked up to a battery like so it's gonna make when I press this it's just okay a whistle that's noise. it those are all the stuff that I'm gonna be making videos on so Put in the comments below which one that you want to see first and whichever comment gets the most thumbs up, I will do that one first. Okay, thanks for watching. As always, please like, share, and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.